when you read about witchcraft um, and you begin to try and practice, oftentimes um, you're functioning without guidance. It truly is so much better, even though you need to read, um, to follow one tradition rather than to being eclectic. And it's wonderful to read about all religions and all traditions, but you should follow one. And find someone who can teach you and um, help you out. Uh, most traditions do not teach in the way we do. We give you all the information. We allow you to walk with it, talk with it, and learn on your own so that you have the information by which to guide you through the books you read. But you must practice. You must practice. Becoming a witch, you should really be in touch with other people who practice, and especially of your own tradition. And sometimes it takes time to choose a tradition. You must be well read to do so. But you need to explore. You really need to explore all the traditions and find the one that resonates to you, that makes you connect to all things and all spirit and helps you to balance and be practical with your magic. The tools of witchcraft are something you should learn about. You may not be able to learn enough about them through a book. You certainly can learn about stones, herbs, by reading, absolutely. And each one of those are a study that may take years. However, there are basics that you can learn immediately if you have a, a very good teacher. If you are truly a witch, you will behave as one. You will have integrity. You will have balance, focus. And your personal power is important because it's to be used in a very good way. That power is to bring goodness to the world, to yourself and all that surround you. You should be proud of yourself as a witch. Stand up for what you believe. It is a religion. It is a path, it is an art, and a science. All those things empower you and the world. If you choose to be a witch, please be dedicated. To